If we run our project as is in the simulator, we can see the problem we have immediately. Here it is looking quite nice with three flags. But if I rotate this device, the landscape, you'll see the bottom flag goes right against the bottom of the screen. It doesn't look very good. And this is on the 10R as well. On smaller devices like the SE, for example, it won't even fit the bottom flag. So it'll look pretty bad in landscape. Now, one solution for this is to disable orientation. We could go to our Xcode settings, choose our project, then look for device orientation down here and just deselect the ones you don't care about, like landscape right or landscape left. So it'll always stay in portrait mode. And there are many times that that's the right solution. Here though, that's not a good solution. So I'll leave these two orientations checked. Instead, we're gonna head back to main.storyboard and add some extra auto layout constraints to make the system shrink down the flags as needed. So here's our main view controller. I'm gonna select the bottom flag and then control drag from there downwards. So it'll say bottom space to safe area. And I'll choose that one. This has created a new auto layout constraint. So the bottom of the flag must be at least some number of points away from the bottom of the view controller, where those points are equal to whatever space there is right now in our example interface builder file. Now, although this is a valid rule, it's gonna screw up our layout. So we now have a complete set of exact vertical rules. This top flag should be spaced away from the top, then a second flag spaced away from the first, third from the second, and third to the bottom. For us, this bottom constraint is in our size inspector, 402 from the bottom, an exact size. Now, because we've told auto layout exactly how big all the spaces must be, it will add them up and divide the remaining space among the three flags, however it thinks best. That is, the flags must now be stretched vertically or squeezed vertically in order to fill the space, which is almost certainly what we don't want. Particularly because here in landscape mode, we're asking for 402 points of space at the bottom, which is probably wider than the entire screen. So it's not possible to fill these constraints. Instead, we're going to tell auto layout where there's some flexibility, and that's in our new bottom rule we just created. The bottom flag does not need to be precisely 402 points away from the bottom of the safe area. It just needs to be some distance away so it doesn't touch the very edge. If there's more space, great. Auto layout should use it. But what we care about is the minimum. So first try and select the new constraint we just made, either by choosing it like I did here, or by choosing the third flag, going to its size inspector and looking for its constraints down here and finding a line bottom to safe area. You can double click that to open it up. What you need to do is change the relation from equal to be greater than or equal. Then change the constant from 402 or whatever number you have there to be 20. This sets the rule, make it at least 20 points in the bottom, but you can make it fill up more space if needed. Now the layout on the screen is not going to change visually while you're doing this because the end result is the same. But at least now auto layout knows it has some flexibility beyond just stretching the flags. Our problem is still not fixed though. Because in landscape mode, an iPhone SE has just 320 points of space to work with. So auto layout is going to make our flags fit by squashing one, or maybe even two of those flags. These don't look good on screen and having uneven sizes isn't good either. So we're going to add some more rules. First, select the second button here, then control drag from there to the first button. From these options here, please choose equal heights. Now do the same from the third button to the second button, choosing equal heights. This rule ensures that at all times, all three flags have the same height. So auto layout can no longer squash one button to make it all fit, and instead has to squash all three flags equally. That fixes part of the problem, but in some respects makes it worse. Because rather than having one squash flag, we now have three squashed flags. But with one more rule, we can stop the flags being squashed ever. So select the first flag, then control drag from itself to itself, and choose aspect ratio. Then do the same for the other two flags, aspect ratio and aspect ratio. And this aspect ratio constraint solves the squashing once and for all. It means that if auto layout's forced to reduce the height of the flag, 
it will reduce the width by the same proportion, meaning the flag will always look correct. So I'll press Command R to try and build and run the app again with these new constraints in place. It'll launch in the sim. There's our same UI looking great in portrait mode. And in landscape mode, it still looks great, leaving space to the bottom here for this home indicator plus 20 points at the bottom. So it looks much, much nicer now, no matter what device you have.